Welcome to Learn Law Better. Is winning the law school game important to you? Curious about what you need to do to succeed in law school? Stay to the end as I cover the three most important problem areas for new law students and strategies to succeed in those areas. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy the episode and click the subscribe button and bell if you don't want to miss any future episodes. Also, if you have any questions about law school, leave them in the comments section. Hi, this is Bo Vise, and today I want to discuss how to succeed in law school. I called this episode Winning the Law School Game because you need to think of law school as a game. It has its own rules, which are different from the rules you learned in college. Imagine that you know the rules to checkers, and someone asks you to play chess. You start playing this new game, but you use the rules to checkers. That is how most people play the law school game, at least until they get their first grades at the end of the semester. With that in mind, let's examine the law school game and what you need to do to win. Exams. Law school exams are nothing like you saw in high school or college. Your college exams primarily tested you on knowledge, while law school exams test you on the higher level thinking skills. You need to remember the rules, but then apply those rules to facts you've never seen before. If all you do is learn the law, don't expect to end up with top grades. To win the exam game, from day one, you must prepare for your exams. This means looking at old exams your professor might have posted online or have on reserve in the library. Or if there aren't any old exams, finding exams from other professors. Also, read as much as you can about law school finals. There are many books, blogs, and videos like this one that will help you. Reading. You will have lots of cases in law school which are edited legal opinions. The cases can be complex and confusing and in subjects that will be new to you. Also, most professors use the Socratic method in class when discussing cases. This method is designed to get you to think differently, but most students treat law school class just like their college classes. To win the reading game, after reading a case, use the FIRAC case briefing method, F-I-R-A-C. Facts, issue, rule, analysis, conclusion. I discuss this method in more detail in another episode. Not only will short case briefs help you prepare for class, but more importantly, briefing will start training your mind in using the IRAC method, which in turn will help you on your essay exams. Feedback. Very few professors will give you any feedback before the final exam. Unlike college, where you had regular quizzes, short tests, most professors in law school give you one final exam at the end of the semester. So if you don't learn the material the right way, or you don't learn how to write a law school exam, then you can find yourself with a low grade. To win the feedback game, begin doing practice exams early in the semester you need to learn how to write in a way that will get you top grades. Unfortunately, knowing the law is only 50% of what it takes to get top grades. So when you see test-taking workshops, go to them. If your law school has an academic success department, take your practice exams to them for review. Also consider finding someone that you can take exams with. When you and your study buddy take the same exam, swap the essays, and grade them. Be brutal in your grading, marking every error. And here is where the magic occurs. While you will find it hard to see the errors in your exam, that is not the case when you grade someone else's exam. And by becoming a grader, you will become a better writer. Why? Because you will stop making the errors that you catch in your buddy's essays. 
my writing improved significantly after I became a teacher. Not because I was teaching the material, but because of all the grading that I had to do. If you enjoyed this material, hit the like button. Also, to avoid missing any future episodes, hit the subscribe and bell buttons. For more resources to help you get ahead, including my blog and newsletter, check out learnlawbetter.com. Thanks for watching.